In this video, we're going to be breaking down a greenhouse that was sent in by one of our customers. This entire project is made completely out of three quarter inch electrical conduit, which you can find off the shelf at places like Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, and different places like that. We actually have connectors that we manufacture and ship from South Carolina that you can use to join pieces of conduit together and create projects like this greenhouse. In this video, we're going to be talking about the connectors that were used and just highlight some of the different techniques in case you want to recreate this or apply the techniques to whatever it is that you're building. With that said, let's jump in and check it out. This comes from Nick, and he shared this in our community platform, which we appreciate. Really cool to see. And the first thing you might notice about this is the fact that the greenhouse is kind of underground a bit. It's uh, He dug a hole and then is building the framework out of that hole. And I think this is done to be more efficient at conserving heat inside the greenhouse. I could be totally wrong. There's also a hidden feature of this that I think is really cool that will highlight that you probably haven't even noticed yet. Uh, I didn't notice it at first glance. I had to kind of study the photo in order to see what was happening, and it's really cool. But first, let's break down the frame. And we can see here, like I said, this is three quarter inch electrical conduit. And with something like this, I would recommend starting with the roof and then kind of working your way down if you were building this. And so if we look here, this first connector that was used is the 135 degree connector. And we'll look at these more closely here in a second. But this is the 135 here in the middle. It works great for a roof peak that has this angle. You could do a more harsh uh, roof angle if you use the 90 degree connector. But this is the 135. And the way this connector works is basically there's a piece of conduit that can run continuously through it. And that's going from one side of the build to the other, the whole roof peak. And then there's two pieces of conduit that terminate inside of the connector and then come out at the 135 degree angle. And basically he just used that technique for the roof for, I think there's six total 135s at the top of this going all the way down. We can see one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's 12 pieces of conduit in total coming out of the 135s going down to the sides of the build. And basically those are extending all the way down to the embankment over here. And the way he did that was really unique, where basically there's another connector here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see zoomed in, but it's the 180 degree connector. And basically the EMT conduit is running continuously through that connector as well, and then going all the way down to the side over here to the bank. And the way that he used the, one or the 180 is that piece of conduit is running continuously through it all the way down to the ground. And then that connector works similarly to the 135, where two pieces of conduit are going to terminate inside of the connector. And basically, that is how he separated and kind of broke up the long horizontal spans of uh, on the sides on the roof over here. So basically, in each side of the one, uh, 180, he's basically got the pieces of conduit coming out, and they're terminating inside the connector and then continuing down until he does the same technique here, where he breaks it, uh, breaks it up terminates inside the connector and goes down. And so basically that's how he's doing that with the 180s and that's how he's doing the, the sides of this greenhouse roof, which is really cool. And then basically we can see here that he's grabbing on to those horizontal spans using the maker pipe T connector, uh, which basically just joins two pieces of conduit together. And he's basically grabbing on to the horizontal spans. And then there's a piece of conduit that terminates in the T and then goes all the way down to the ground. And that's basically how he's grabbing on. And all these verticals are supporting the roof of the greenhouse. He's got, I think, 10 total verticals going down to the ground. And those are all connected by this T connector, which again has the through pipe running through the top of it. And then the terminating pipe coming out of the bottom and those are going down to the ground. And that's basically how he supported uh, the, the roof by adding those verticals to the ground. And then we can see he used some T-connectors in a couple of other places here to basically grab on uh, like the horizontal pieces of conduit coming at an angle here. He's grabbing onto it with a T-connector there. And that's how he's kind of completing this rectangle to these verticals here in the front. And then we can see there's another T-connector directly adjacent to that that is attaching to the front reef, uh, roof peak here. And that's basically just a few more T connectors to, to achieve that and connect that. So kind of a lot of connectors. We only have this one photo, so it's kind of hard to break it down. But, but a lot of T connectors and then the 135s and then the 180s. And then he also used another connector because I love this. <laughs> it's so cool. Basically, these pieces of conduit that are going all the way down to the sides and to the ground over here, he is basically creating a stake in the ground that is also going to help support the roof. And he did that by grabbing onto the, the pieces of conduit going up to the roof peak. He's grabbing onto those with the adjustable angle hinge connector, which works similarly to the T connector where it joins two pieces of conduit together. 
and that allows him to basically, at an angle, send another vertical down to the ground here, as we can see here on the edge of the greenhouse roof. And what's really cool about this is you'll notice there is a gutter here. So whenever he adds the roof material, I imagine it's going to be greenhouse plastic, could be corrugated plastic or something like that. But whenever he has this you know, completed roof here, whenever it rains, that rain is going to run down the roof and then go into these gutters. And he's got these at an angle here where the water is going to run all the way down these gutters and into a system here. And it's got a rain collection system on both sides. So whenever it rains, he's going to be able to collect that water and then reuse that in his garden. And that's really cool. And basically it looks like he just cut some holes in some gutters and then used probably metal zip ties or just regular old nylon zip ties to secure the gutters to these verticals on each side. Really cool and a really great use of space. I think that's why he buried it in the ground to make that process easier. Or like I said, it could be because it makes it more efficient. I'm not totally sure. But either way, really cool and just an awesome project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. If you have any questions or need more information, leave them down below in the comments or check out the community post and you can talk to the builder who shared this. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.